So good morning everyone. So welcome back to our subject. So for today's video or for today's lesson, let's uh let us discuss the order of national artists. So I hope bago kayo magpunta sa week 5 or module 5 ay dapat masagutan niyo po muna lahat. Yung lesson 1, lesson 2, lesson 3 and lesson 4 activities. I hope naman sana, di ba, lalong-lalo na yung mga, <coughs> excuse me, nag-enroll noong September pa. At sana naman, wala na kayong na-miss na isang activities. Ano po, kasi kakaunti lang po yung activities natin per lesson. Di yeah. ba, hindi na ako nag, uh, nagbibigay ng isang damukal na activities sa inyo. So, sana naman, wag nyong, wag nyong, uh, or wag mamihasa. Ano po? Kasi apat na lesson na lang yan, napaka yung iba, bungi-bungi pa yung pagkakabigay ng mga activities. So I hope bago kayo magsagot dito sa first lesson ng second quarter, ay matapos nyo po muna yung four lessons ng activities na nasa first quarter. So, so dito pag-aaralan natin yung uh, kung ano ibig ng national artists, yung order of national artists sa iba't ibang larangan. So, uh, the order of national artists, so ano yung unang pumapasok sa isip nyo kapag sinabi nating national artists? Okay, bibigyan ko yung limang segundo para mag-isip kung ano ibig sabihin ng national artists. Okay, thank you. So, kung iniisip nyo ang national artists ay ito yung nagbibigay ng uh, ambag sa Pilipinas or nag-represent ng kultura ng Pilipinas. So, tama po yung nasa isip nyo. Okay. So, when you say national artist class, it is under what? Under po ito ng uh, CCP or the Cultural Center of the Philippines and NCCA or the Center for Culture of the Arts. Also, we have the uh, Award Secretariat or acting as the Order of the National Artist Award Secretariat or ONAA. So, when we say National Artist, uh, it is an honorary title issued by some state as a highest recognition of artists for their significant contribution of the cultural heritage of the nation. So, when we say significant is, is a remarkable or important na naiambag mo at the same time na i-expose mo yung iba't ibang kultura na meron sa Pilipinas. So, ito rin po ay sumasalamin kung gaano kaganda at kagaling yung mga artists sa Pilipinas. The same time, ginagama, uh, ginagamit din ito para uh, magsilbing inspirasyon sa susunod na henerasyon. So, on becoming a national artist class, the order of national artists, also known as Orden ng mga pambansang alagad ng sining, was created by virtue of Presidential Proclamation Number no. 1001, dated April 27, 1972, to give appropriate recognition and prestige to Filipinos who have distinguished themselves and made outstanding contribution to the Philippine arts and letters. So the first award na in award in awardan ng Orden ng mga pambansang alagad ng sining ay walang iba kundi si Fernando Amersolo. So mamaya tatalakayin natin kung sino si Fernando Amersolo, okay? So again, under kapag sinabing national artist, it is under what? Under to ng Cultural Center of the Philippines or CCP, huwag kalimutan. Then next, the National Center for Culture of the Arts or NCCA, and the last one is ONAA, or the, uh, or the Acting as the Order of National Artists Award Secretariat. So the award is given during a ceremony at the Malacanang Palace and awarded by the Philippine Res uh, President who provides the insignia of the order as the recognition is based on the creativity, imagination, technical proficiency with the highest degree, uniquely expressing Filipino culture, tradition, as well as their aspirations. So, walang iba po ang uh, mag-award niyan kundi ang president or mag-proclaim 
ay ang president ng Pilipinas. So, the same time, sa Malacanang Palace din po sila nag, uh, nag-a-award. So, nagbibigay sila ng mga medalyon, uh, pwedeng gold, silver, and bronze. So, next. As reiterate, uh, reiterated by the Commission, the Order of National Artists aims to recognize the following. So, number one, Filipino artists who have made significant contribution to the cultural heritage of the country. Halimbawa, yung mga uh, pintor na nag, yung kanilang gawa or yung kanilang uh, obra ay nagre-reflect sa pamumuhay ng mga Pilipino dito sa Bansang Pilipinas. Nagpapakita ito ng kagandahan, kaaliwan at uh, pamumuhay na mayroon sa ating bansa. Halimbawa, yung pagtatanim ng palay, pag, uh, pag, tawag, pagliliyok, pag-uukit, um, pagkanta na ang tema ay patungkol sa uh, karanasan or uh, observasyon na kanyang nakikita sa kanyang uh, society. So, yun po ay isa sa Uh, dapat maging katangian ng isang Filipino artist. Okay, next number two, Filipino artistic accomplishment at its highest level and to promote creative expression as significant to, devel- to the development of a national cultural identity. So, yon same lang sila. Papakita na... Uh, Uh, pinapakita yung kahalagahan ng kultura na mayroon sa Pilipinas, tradisyon, at uh, uh, mga na-experience sa nagdaang taon. So, yun, uh, yun po ang dapat maging katangian ng isang Filipino artistic. Next, Filipino artists who have dedicated their lives to their works to purge new paths and direction for future, genera- for future generations of Filipinos artists. So, dapat yung Filipino artist ay sila rin po yung nagsisilbing uh, aspiration or an inspiration ba sa mga susunod na henerasyon so next the rewards of being conferred as a national artist so ano na yung mga matatanggap kapag ikaw ay naging national artist So, number one, the rank and title of national artist as proclaimed the president of the Philippines. So, kapag sinabing the rank of the title of national artist is um, pre- walang ibang magpo-proclaim po nyo kundi ang presidente ng Pilipinas. Walang magsasabi sa'yo na ikaw ay isang uh, singer ng national uh, artist kung hindi ka ipoproclaim ng president. Next, the National Artist Gold Plated Medallion minted by the Banko Central ng Pilipinas and Citation. So, meron ka rin, meron rin binibigay sila na isang medalyon na meron pong uh, naka, naka, ang tawag to, nakaukit or nakatatak ng Banko Central ng Pilipinas. Next, uh, Lifetime em- Emolument. Uh, material and physical benefits such as minimum cash award of 200,000 pesos for a living awardees and minimum cash awards of 150,000 pesos for posthumous awardees. Uh, awardees. So, life insurance coverage for awardees who are still insurable and a state funeral benefit not exceeding 500,000. So, short, parang pensionado ka na, no? Kahit buhay ka, pag namatay ka, ay bayad ka ng malakanyang. Next, a place or honor in state function, national com- uh, commemoration, ceremonies, and all other cultural presentation. So, ibig sabihin po nun, kapag may mga celebration na uh, may mga celebration na uh, sa malakanyang, so, ikaw ay tatawag, pwede kang kapu yung tatawagin bilang uh, sang singer or ipapakita yung mga painting mo yung mga ginawa mong obra sa mga tao so yon pinagmamalaki ka po ng um, malakanyang at ng presidente 
So, ano-ano ba yung criteria for the selection of national artists? So, of course, the criteria for the selection of national artists, so the order of national artists shall be given to artists who have met the following criteria. So, what are those? So, una, unang-una sa lahat, kahit ito sa president, ay nagiging criteria din po ito. Uh, natural burn in uh, Filipino citizen at the time of nomination. So, na- ibig sabihin, national Uh, natural born ka bilang isang Pilipino, wala kang uh, dugong hin- yung nanay mo hindi pwedeng uh, Amerikano or y- uh, Amerikana and then yung tatay mo naman is uh, Pilipino. So, dapat natural born Pilipino ka. Dito ka pinanganak sa Pilipinas. Next, artists who, who through the content and form of their works have contributed in building a Filipino sense of nationhood So next artists who have pioneered in the mode of creative expression or style thus earning distinction and making an impact on succeeding generation of artists So big sabihin kapag ikaw ay isang national artist meron kang pagkakakilanlan bilang ikaw So halimbawa ah uh, yung yung isang artist ay kilala siya bilang uh, expressionism. Kilala siya bilang realism sa larangan ng pagpepainting, di ba? So, dapat ang artist ay may pagkakakilanlan or may estilo po siya. So, halimbawa, ikaw nakilala ka dahil yung painting ay gamit lamang sa kape, di ba? Wala kang ibang ginamit na ano, kundi kape lamang. Tapos, uh, burn paper or kung anong pwedeng uh, pagpaintingan. So, yun po ay isang uri ng style sa pagpapainting. Next, artists who have created a substantial and significant body of works and consistently displayed excellence in the practice of their art from thus enriching artistic expression or style. So, same lang din. Next, artists who have enjoyed broad access, uh, acceptance through prestigious national and or international recognition, critical acclaim and or reviews of their works, and final respect and esteem from peers. So, ang ibig sabihin lang po niyan ay uh, kung, kung pasok ka sa kriteria ng national artist and at the same time hinahangaan ka or mala, at mala, maraming nakakakilala sa'yo, so, tanyag ka sa mga Pilipino So, yun yung dapat uh, ma, ma-claim mo. At the same time, uh, kailangan respect or resp- respeto ka ng mga uh, Pilipino sa pagiging isang national artist. Okay, let's move on. So, we have the procedure in being uh, nominated as a candidate for national artist. So, the candidates may be nominated under one or more of the following categories. So, meaning, um, kahit, kahit siya ay isang national artist sa larangan ng pagsasayaw, hindi po ibig sabihin na uh, siya lamang po yung sumasayaw o siya lang yung performer. So, mag, pwede rin po siya mag, um, mag-fall sa iba't ibang categories like uh, choreography, direct, uh, director or direction, and or performance ba yung magtuturo sa pagsasayaw at yung pagdadirek ng uh, pagsasayaw sa isang teatro so dun po pwede siyang ma-fall sa iba't ibang categories so again kapag sinabi na uh, national artist hindi lang po yan uh, performer ng pagsasayaw next music So, sa larangan ng musika, meron rin po 'yan. Syempre, hindi lang uh, hindi lang porket sinabihan ka ng national artist siya ng uh, music ay ikaw lang ibig sabihin kumakanta lang po siya. So, hindi po ganoon. Pwede rin po siyang ma-fall sa iba't ibang uh, under ng categories like uh, siya 'yung nagko-compose ng mga songs, direct, uh, direction or director and uh, performer. Next, theat- uh, theater, so the directions, performance, and our production, design. So, we have also uh, visual arts, 
So, sa, pag- sa visual arts, meron tayong painting, sculpture, printmaking, photography, installation art, mixed media works, illustration, graphic arts, performance art, and imaging. So, dun din po papasok ang iba't ibang kategorya. Next, meron din tayong literature. So, di ba, tanyag dyan si Amado B. Hernandez, sila Nick Joaquin, sila, uh, sino pa si... Jose Garcia Villa. So, yun yung mga tanyag na uh, national artist in uh, literature. So, maaring ma-fall sila sa iba't ibang categories na kung sila kung saan ang kanilang uh, pagkatha ay maaring sa uh, mga tula, sa paggawa ng mga sanaysay, sa pagsusulat ng mga uh, playwrights, journalism, and even the literary criticism. So, next, we have film and broadcast art. So, direction, writing, production, design, cinematography, editing, camera work, and a performer or performance, di ba? So, again, meron po siya silang uh, iba't ibang categories. So, hindi porket um, siya ay siya ay magaling kumanta or siya ay isang sikat na mananayaw, big sabihin po ay national artist na siya. Kailangan niya pa rin ma-meet yung uh, criteria and the standard ng pagiging isang national artist. So, the nomination for the Order of National Artists may be submitted by government and non-government cultural organization and educational institution as well as private foundation and councils. So, yun po, uh, maraming uh, kailangan pagdaanan bago maging isang national artist. So, sinamarize ko na lang yan kasi na-discuss ko na yan sa unang uh, slide kanina. So, dito, the order of national artists in the Philippines. So, we have in painting. So, 1972, si Fernando Amorsolo. 1973, si Carlos B. Francisco. The 1976, si Victorio C. Edades. And 1981, si Vicente S. Manansala. And 1999, pinanganak ako niyan. So, si J. Elizalde Navarro and Antonio R. Benaventura. So, sa larangan naman ng musika, 1973, si Antonio J. Molina. 1970, 1976, Jubita uh, Fuentes, 1988, si Antonino Buenaventura, 1989, Lucrecia Casilag, 1991, Lucio San Pedro, 1997, sila Felipe de Leon, Levi Silerio, Jose Maceda. And then 1999 naman, sila Professor Andrea uh, Benaracion and Emani Cuenco. And then 2014, Francisco Feliciano, Ramon P. Santos. Next, sa larangan naman ng uh, pagsasayaw sa dance, so we have uh, Francisca Araquino, uh, yes, Francisca Araquino noong 1973, 1976, Leonor Cogenco, 1988, uh, Lucrecia Ortula, 2006, Amon Obusan, and 2014, Alice Reyes. Then, sa larangan naman ng literatura, sila... Uh, Amado B. Hernandez o C. Garcia Villa noong 1973 and 1976 Nick Joaquin and merami po po sila. Okay. So, sino si Fernando Amorsolo? So, si Fernando Amorsolo po ay siya ay pinanganak noong May 30, 1892 sa Paco, Manila. So, the grand old man of the Philippine art, Fernando Amorsolo was the first national artist He developed the backlighting technique which became his trademark. So, ayun, meron siyang sar- trademark and sariling style. Wala siyang pinagayahan. In short. So, uh, her figures or image a glow on canvas. So, a product of the art school of the Liceo de Manila and the University of the Philippines, our solo mat- masterpiece include the El Chiego no 1928, Dalagang Bukid no 1936, Maiden in Stream, 1921, The Mestiza, 1940, Planting Rice, noong 1946, and Sunday Morning Going to Town, 1958. So, when we say uh, backlighting, ito yung uh, 
pagpipaint ni Amersolo kung saan uh, ginagamit niya ito bilang isang genre niya kung saan yung mga uh, painting niya ay madalas ito po ay nak uh, yung bak- yung the word itself na backlighting kasi is helps to uh, separate the subject and the background. So, yun, ginamit yun ni uh, Amersolo para uh, mas ma-emphasize yung subject at the same time maging uh, pure ito and then maging uh, tawag ito, parang makatotohanan yung kanyang mga ipinipinta. Next, uh, Levi Celerio. So, sa so Levi Celerio was born on April 30, 1910 in Tondo, Manila. So, an exemplary uh, lyricist and composer who received his scholarship at the Acad- uh, Academy of Music in Manila which allowed him to join the Manila Sim- Symphony Orchestra as the youngest member. So, Celario was also included in the Guinness Book of the World Records as the only person who made music through a leaf. He was able to compose over 4,000 songs Some of them were made for local movies while some became popular love songs which included Saan ka man naroroon, kahit konting pagtingin, kapag puso'y sinugatan, gaano ko ikaw kamahal. So, to be honest, ang, ang alam ko lang dito na uh, napapakinggan before, um, kahit konting pagtingin. So, yung kahit konting pagtingin, ba diba? ano siya na... Uh, ni- Nirevised na siya or uh, iniba na yung uh, iniba yung mga tono sa paglipas ng uh, panahon, di ba? Nirevised na lang yan ng uh, mga bagong artist. So, so si Lea Vizelario po ay nakilala siya kasi uh, nakaya niyang mag Uh, patugtog or manang musika sa pamamagitan lamang po ng dahon. Nagawa niyo ba yun nung bata kayo? Kasi uh, ako, dati yung dahon ng dulo ng manga, so kapag hinipan mo siya, tuntunog at tutunog po talaga siya. So hindi ko lang alam kung marunong kayo noon. Pero yun yung ginamit ni Levi Celerio noon. So yun, Next, so si Levi Celerio, some of his folk songs were um, Pipit, Tinikling, Tunay na Tunay, Itik-Itik, Kuriwaray, Pitong Gatang, Ako ay May Sing Sing, Alibang Bang, Umaga na Neneng, Ikaw Kasi Alimbong, Galaw-Gaw, Kapitsyosa, Ang Tapis ni Hinday, Dungawin Mo Hirang, and Basta't Mahal Kita. Next, si Levi Celerio din po ang nagsulat ng nationalistic song such as Bagong Pagsilang, Lupang Pangharap, and Tinig ng Bayan. And also, his Christmas songs, on the other hand, includes Pasko na naman, Maligayang Pasko at Manigong Bagong Taon, and then uh, Misa de Gallo. And then si Levi died on April 2, 2002. So, Sipin nyo, alam kong meron dyan sa mga nabanggit ko ay mga naririnig nyo na before, ba diba? Kahit kagaya ng kont- kahit konting pagtingin kung manggagaling sa'yo. So, yun. Alam kong naririnig nyo yon hanggang ngayon. Sa mga kapitbahay nyo na lasinggera. Lasinggero, ba diba? Pinapatugtog yun yung mga kapitbahay. Kung makapap ako uh, makapagpatugtog parang wala nang bukas. So next si Alice Reyes. So si Alice Reyes naman is a great contributor uh, in the promotion and development of contemporary dance in the Philippines as a teacher, director, dancer and choreographer. So his masterpiece class includes Amada, Itim Asu, Bayanihan Remem- and Remembered for Ballet, Philippines at a Maranao gathering, Lalis of the Manuvu and the Ramahari worships, uh, worships strongly promoted the unique uh, phases of the Philippine arts and cultures. So she introduced also and popularized 
modern dance in the Philippines in 1970 and helped build an audience base as well for ballet Philippines by conducting tour, uh, tours to several provinces and regions in the country. So, ang inano niya naman ay sa larangan ng pagbabalay. So, okay, next, Juan Nakpil. So, si Juan Nakpil is a siyang national artist for architecture. So, nabuhay siya noong May 26, 1899 at namatay siya noong May 7, 1986. So, Nakpil's major, so ang um, pinagkaiba po ng architect sa engineer, ang architect po ang siyang nagpaplano at nagdo-drawing kung ano yung magiging itsura ng isang building. So yung engineer naman po ang magpaplano kung uh, ano yung mga materyales na dapat gamitin sa pagpapatayo ng isang building. So I hope na alam nyo kung yung pinagkaiba ng dalawa. So one Nakpil major works are... The Hieronimo de los Reyes Building, Magsaysay Building, Rizal Theater, Capital Theater, Captain Pepe Building, Manila Jockey uh, Club, Rufino Building, Philippine Village Hotel, University of the Philippines Administration, and University Library, the, right, uh, the Rizal House in Calamba, Laguna, so, and also the Iglesia Ni Cristo in San Juan, the International Eucharistic Congress Altar and the Quiapo Church Dome and Belfry among all others. So, yun lang naman po yung mga ginawa ni Nakpil. ba diba? Napakarami. So, isipin nyo kung ganun kaganda at ganun karami yung nagawa nyo. So, yung mga uh, beginners sa pagdodrawing, ba? Diba? Baka bali, uh, malay nyo maging isa kayong national artist someday. So, kaya wag nyo mamaliitin yung mga drawing nyo. Kung, ma'am, hindi po talaga ako marunong eh. Iba kasi yung nagtry sa ayaw talaga gumawa o tinamad na talaga mag-drawing. Ano po? So, nakikita ko kasi yan kung ano yung pinagkaiba ng tamad gumawa. Naglagay ng effort kahit hindi marunong mag-drawing. Diba? Sama, sana man lang kapag pinag-drawing kayo ng teacher nyo, lagyan nyo naman po ng effort. Ano po? Kasi doon kami magbe-base. So, sige nga sa tingin nyo, pag nakita namin na stick yung uh, tao or anong uh, anong image ang mabubuo sa utak namin. Diba? Katamaran. Kasi naman lang yun, itry nyo na mag-drawing ng tao. Lagyan nyo ng... Uh, kulay, or kung walang pang kulay, i-emphasize nyo yung mismong subject na dinadrawing nyo. ba diba? Kitang-kita po namin yung nag effort sa tinamad lang mag-drawing. Sa pinipilit na, ma'am, hindi po talaga ako marunong mag-drawing. Eh, kung hindi ka marunong mag-drawing, ibakat mo yung drawing mo. ba diba? So, yun. Ni-encourage ko kayo na kahit hindi kayo marunong mag-drawing, itry nyo pa rin. Lagyan nyo pa rin ng effort. Ano, hindi yun basta may maipasa lang. Tapos nagtataka kayo bakit ang baba ng nakuha nyo. Kasi hindi kayo nag effort So, hindi ko, dyan, hindi ko dyan na general kasi may mga student rin ako nakikita na kahit hindi sila marunong mag-drawing, nakikitaan ko pa rin ng, pag, ng mga effort. Simpleng effort. ba diba? Nakikita ko na kahit yung bahay nila, Simple lang, nakakayanan niya pa rin mag, ano, bigyan ng time para mag, uh, maglagay ng effort dun sa subject na art lit. Na po. So, sana, uh, ma-encourage kayo na kapag pinag-drawing kayo teacher nyo, lagyan nyo ng konting effort. Na po. Kasi may mga student talaga na likas ng magaling mag-drawing. May mga student rin na talagang hindi marunong mag-drawing. Ano? So, siguro naman dumaan kayo nung elementary, high school, at ilang beses na kayo nagdo-drawing. So, imposibleng hindi na-build yung pagdo-drawing nyo po. So, hindi naman ako nagahangad sa maging, na maging perfect or maging sobrang ganda yung drawing nyo. Because lagyan nyo lang ng konting effort. yon So, yun, again, yun, yun po yung mga ginawa ni Juan Nakbil. So, again, siya po isang national artist for architecture. So, next, si Napoleon Abueba. 
So, uh, his works are found in several museums both in the Philippines and abroad. So, some of his works include the sculpture. So, si Napoleon na ba naman po ay kilala sa larangan ng uh, sculpture. Pag-ukit. So, found at the United Nations headquarters in New York City, Kaganapan, Kiss of Judas. 30 Pieces of Silver, The Transfiguration, Eternal Garden Memorial Park. So, siya rin pala yung naggawa nun. Eternal Garden ng Memorial Park. Next, the U- uh, UP Gateway, 9 uh, Muses, UP Faculty Center, Sunburst, Teodoro M. Kalaw, figure in front of National Library. Wow! So, siya rin pala yung nag-ano nun. Kung nakapunta na kayo sa National Library class, Sobrang ganda po yung labas nun. At the same thing, yung mga books doon ay talagang valid. So, kapag kayo ay kukuha ng, ano, ng mga sources, pagdating ng college, ay mas, mas maganda kung pupunta kayo National Library. Kasi mas marami kayo makikita ng references, mas makikita kayo marami uh, author, mga sources, the same time, yung topic niya ay possible na may kinalaman din dun sa uh, book na mayroon sa uh, National Library. So, yun po yung uh, ginawa ni Napoleon Abueva. Then, it rep- represents the first uh, international treaty of friendship between the Spaniards and the early Filipinos. Yung San Dugo or Blood Compact. Siya rin po yung nag-agawa uh, nun. Next, Wilf- uh, Wilfredo Maria Guerrero. So, siya po ay isang national artist for theater or teatro. So, siya po ay nabuhay noong January 22, 1911 in Ermita, Manila. Guerrero was playwright, writer, a director, teacher, and artist. He wrote more than 100 plays with almost half published. O, oh, ba Isipin niyo yun? Sa... Din, uh, sa sinulat niya na 100 plays, kalahati po nun ay na-publish. Ibig sabihin, yung kapag kayo ay bookworm, mahilig kayo magbasa, so possible na yung mga nababasa nyo ay maaaring sulat ni Wilfredo Maria Guerrero. So his plays include 13 plays. Nung, uh, first published in 1947 and 8 other plays no 1952, 7 more plays 1962 and 12 new plays 1975. So yun. So half an hour in a convent wanted a chaperon forever condemned perhaps in unity deep in my heart three rats our strange ways the forsaken house and frustrations at marami pa pong iba. So Kung iisipin nyo, uh, yung mga simpleng title lang, pero meron po uh, sa content niyan, or yung story niyan, ay nagbibigay po yan ng uh, malalim na pakakahulugan at malalim na definition na sumasalamin po sa kanyang observation, feelings, experience, sa kanyang uh, society or sa paligid po. So, yun. Doon sila kumukuha ng inspirasyon para gumawa ng gumawa ng mga uh, stories or ng mga plays. So, I hope marami kayong natutunan sa araw na ito and nalaman nyo yung mga kriteria bilang isang national artist. Hindi po ganun kadali. Ano? So, for your activity class, uh, choose a specific national artist, then research on his or her life and times, then analyze his crafts and artworks, then uh, respond to the questions below. What is the expertise of your chosen national artist and why do you think he or she was chosen as national artist? Then describe the artwork of such national artist. Number four, do you think that he or she can be an inspiration to the other Filipinos why and in what matter so yun po yung gagawin nyo ngayong week
So, I hope uh, may pasan nyo po agad ang inyong mga activities para hindi, mo pa, hindi po kayo mapag-iwanan. Ano po? So, yun lamang and have a good day everyone. Bye!